Hey everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live with Nintendo Switch. My name is Nate, uh, and I'm here with some very special guests. I have Mr. Aonuma and yep. Mr. Miyamoto, um, and they are accompanied oh. by their translators, Noriko and Raymond, who are going to help me out as we go through what is my favorite segment of the entire day. Uh, we get to take people uh, into the world of Hyrule and take a deeper look at uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. So. Let's get right to it. And actually, we're going to start out. This is, I think, probably most people's first look at the UI of the Nintendo Switch. So um, I'm just going to boot the game directly out of here and get to it. Yep. You guys ready? Okay. <laughs> Time to go on an adventure here. So um, we are going to start out uh, in a place that is fairly familiar to anybody who played the game in E3 or who has followed our coverage. Um, it's, we're starting out on the Great Plateau, which is basically the introductory area of the game. And you spend some time there, and then for me, one of the, my favorite moments of the game is the moment you get to step off the plateau and into the greater world, because it's huge. E3 あの、シーンなんですけども、これは高いところからここから、ちゃんとして飛び降りる。ここから始めさせていただきます。そうですね。あの、ブレスオブザワイルドは、もう高いところに登って、そこからこう下にこう、ドーンとこうね、あの、降
All right, so I'm making my way. I guess this is we're going a little bit west here, but あの馬がねずっとそのまま普通にあの道を沿いを走ってくれるのでカメラでこう周りを見ながら移動したりするのが楽しいです。Yeah, like you said, since、um, the horse will be、uh, riding、uh, running a,、uh, along the tracks、uh, along、uh, along the road. Uh, you can kind of pan the camera around and then see your surroundings and enjoy the view. So, a little guy with a pack back there. So, I'm approaching one of the many stables in the game. Maybe Mr. Anuma can tell us a little bit about that. ういう場所があります。So the、um, stables are actually scattered、um, in few places along the world。で、あのここに来たらこう馬を、ねはい、あの今野生馬を捕まえましたけど、こういう形で登録ができるんですね。And then at the stable you can register these horses, the wild horses that you caught and tamed.、はい、まああのちょっとルピーを要求されますけど。<笑> You're gonna have to pay a little bit of rupees, but、um, you can register them here. でね、一旦ここに登録しておくと、あの馬をこう馬でこう遠くまで行って、えー、その先なんかやって、そのまま馬を放ってどっか行っちゃって、どこに馬行ったのかわかんなくなっても、馬宿に行って、あの馬呼び寄せてって頼むと、ここにあのすぐ呼び出してくれます。So once you register the horse, when you're exploring out in the world, and then you kind of、um, get off the horse, and you don't you, you don't know where the horses are anymore, your horses anymore, you can go back to the stable and then ask for your horse, and they'll bring it back to you. ね、自分で好きな名前を決めます。And then you can name it however you like. もっとエポナ。今度はね、それはエポナ以外もいろんな馬ですね。そうですね。This time around,、uh, you can ride all different kinds of horses、uh, aside from エポナ。Yeah, so the、um, they're and some are easier to break than others.、Uh, there are horses that are are、um, they have, tend to have more spurs, they have more energy, but those are also Harder, you can't. I mean, you saw that first one that I was trying to land on. He fucked me right off. He tried to kick me. So,、um, you can get a gentler. I think the the gentler horses are easier to, to catch, but maybe aren't as strong when it comes to horses that you want to ride. 馬によってはあのスタミナだったり速さだったりそういったあの違いがありますけれども、やっぱりちょっと強めの馬っていうのはあの名付けにくい。で、でもあのもうちょっと優しくてあのさっきネイトがあの落とされたような馬。でもうちょっと乗りやすいような馬だと、もうちょっと名付けやすくって、でもあのまあスタミナとかスピードが足りなかったりするっていうようなそういうふうな面白い要素もありますよね。そうですね。あの今こうやって馬に、犬が、あ犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。ああ、犬が来た。そうなんですよ馬とか犬とかねいろんな動物にこうあの餌をこう食べさせると意外にいろんな反応があったりするっていうのも。So, one of the things we added、um, to this game is you can give food items to the horses or dogs, and then they'll start to kind of follow you around and、um, be tamed. And that's one of the, the fun elements that we included.、Yeah. It's pretty clear, too, that the, the stables in this world, this wild world,、um, are places where human beings congregate.、Um, people of all races really come here.、Uh, and As you see, I'm just talking to this guy. There's a lot you can learn about the world and a lot that you might need to do in the world when you interact with all the people at the stables. であのこの馬宿はすごくいろんな人があらゆるところから集まってきていてであのここであの次に何をすればいいのかとかあの世界では何が起こっているのかっていうような情報収集もできる貴重な場所ですよそうですねあのここにああのここをあの拠点にしてあのこう旅をしている人なんかもいるのでいやあのそこだけじゃなくて周りからもいろんな情報が集まってくるっていうねそういう場所になってますね。So there's a lot of people that are using this、uh, the stable as a base and then are traveling、um, in the world. So、um, it's kind of interesting to see、um, that you can collect a lot of different kinds of information here. So I、uh, we've of course discussed shrines before. They're all over the place. Um, I'm going to jump into this one and,、uh, and show our viewers、uh, a little bit of the inside of the shrine. But while I did, I was kind of hoping that Mr. Miyamoto and Mr. Anuma could talk a little bit about 
these awesome things that we have on the table in front of us. レートが今ホコラにあのたくさんあるうちの一つのホコラに入りますけれども、あまあその間にこのアミーボを紹介していただけないでしょうか。はい。じゃあどうぞどうぞ紹介しましょう。えっと。イースリオの時にね、もうすでにご紹介してますけど、この馬に乗った、えー、リンクのアミーボ。So during E3, we've already、um, talked about some of these amiibos. それから、えっとこの弓矢のあえっとリンクのアミーボですね。This archer link. はい。それからこれがガーディアンという、これね足がこう自由に。<笑>動かせるというこれあのアミーボ発ですね。So this is、um, a guardian、um, amiibo and as you can see you can bend the legs as the any way that you want and this is actually、um, a first of its kind。そしてあの今回初登場です。ゼルダゼルダ姫ですね。Uh, and this is、um, first time she's、um, appearing as an amiibo。どうですか、so、宮本さん。今回のゼルダ。<笑><笑>こちらこちら。これはあのボコブリンという敵ですね。これが非常によくできてます。And this is a enemy called Bokoblin, and as you can see, it's really well made. であのゼルダ姫ね、あの見てもらったわかるように、もうリンクとごめんなさいこちらカメラ。こっちこっちカメラ。はい。リンクとね同じこの青い服を着てますね。As you can see, when I put them together like this, you can see, but Zelda is actually wearing this blue tunic that,、um, that Link is wearing as well. And to the other hand, this is the Sheikah Slate, which is the same as Link is wearing. And then in Zelda's hand, you can see the Sheikah Slate, which is something that Link also has. Well, that's the case in the game. ゲームの中でいろいろ明かされていきますのでまた楽しみにしていってほしいです。このゴコブリンがね、はい、いっぱい出てくるんですね、いろんな種類が。いろんな種類が出てくる。Right? だんだんとね、敵として可愛くなってくる。そうですね。So、long, kind of あの totally. 一番ゲームの中で。あのしょっちゅう出てくるね、本当にうるさいわっていう<笑>出てくる。出てくる。It's one of the enemies t h a t o u l l e n o y i n g but it's it's still very cute。多分敵をこんなにね一生懸命作ったのは初めてですね。ね。You know it might be the first time that we've created、um, a product with so much detail of an enemy character。と言ってるうちにネイトがシュレインを攻略しちゃったので<笑>。<笑> Um, while we were discussing Amiibo, now you're done with the shrine. Yeah,、so. we,、uh, with the viewers at home, were watching me solve it. I, I didn't want to completely solve it, so I decided to bail out and go back out into the world so we don't spoil too much for people at home. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. So when you actually、uh, clear any of those shrines, not only do you get abilities, but it also becomes a, a warp point. だからこう馬で移動するとか、ワープを使うとか、パラグライド飛ぶとか、まあいろんな崖から転がって落ちるとか、<笑>いろんなルートが自分で選べるんです。<笑> And so you know whether it's warping or taking the horse or using the paraglider or just rolling off a cliff, there's many ways that you can get to places. I love climbing up hills and then jumping off them. The Epona was a little bit of 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 a little bit あの前宿に登録するとこの蔵とそれからあの自分で呼ぶとあの来てくれるというあのそういう性能が加わる。Once you register these horses at the stable,、um, it'll have it'll you can put on the,、um, the saddle and then、um, another spec where if you blow your whistle, blow a whistle, it'll come right up to you. 今度の馬っていうのは大事なのは先頭にも使う。ね、だから勝手にこうして道を走ってくれる AI がすごく優秀。So something important about the horses this time around is you can also use them for battle. So the 
you know, it's, it's a really, um, when we were creating these animals, there's actually a, a programmer and like a designer specifically dedicated to these animals, and horse being one of them. And there's many, many different types of animals that come out in the game. And you know, uh, the designers and programmers spent a lot of time and years really perfecting and drafting these animals so that they become really, really natural. I'm getting out of there, he was in danger. I didn't want to get. You really have to take care of your horse. That's the thing is that you care about this animal that you can sort of domesticate it a little bit. But oh. I also wanted to point out talking about other animal life. You, know, you look around and this is a living world, you know. Everywhere there's there's birds, there's beasts, there's things growing. Um, there's just stuff everywhere. It feels very, very, uh, very much like it's a living place. Um, and I also wanted to point out that uh, you guys probably saw when I went into that battle with these guys really unsuccessfully that um, one of the advantages the horse gives you is that you can jump off it and go into slow motion, um, which gives you an automatic advantage if you actually hit that. You uh, missed it, Nate. I did miss it, but I was talking. Uh, it gives you an automatic <laughs> advantage because you, it's like jumping off something. Um, you got to be better at this, Nate. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Try to talk at the same time. Come on. But anyways, regardless of whether or not you're using um, the grip or whether you're using the pro controller, you can fine-tune aiming um, with the bow mm. like this. グリップでもあの、こういうのは、そう、繊細なあの、コントロールっていうのができるのが今回のプロジェクトですね。あの、どちらも同じようにコントロールできます。いや、you and with um, how you actually get on the horse with Epona, you, there was a specific, that you had, a specific way that you had to get on the horse. But this time around, there's many, many different rides, ways uh. that you can get on the horse. Nate, let's go from the front. Let's go from the front. Let's go from the front. Actually, try from the front. Let's go from the front. From the neck. From the neck. Oh! 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 So um, we've added a lot of elements, like we talked about earlier, taming the um, horses or giving track to the horses, but um, everything's kind of streamlined and feels really natural. So I want the players to enjoy, to be able to enjoy that aspect of the game as well. And then it's really another fun element is battle while you're still on the horse. Can I help these guys out? I guess I can. Looks like the travelers are actually getting way late. You can actually hit the enemies with the horse and then で、このね、さっきあの、あの前言った気持ちよく動けるっていうのはすごい大事で、この階段の世界をちょっと気持ちよく歩くするために登るとか、走るとか、ものすごく手をかけて Mentioned the, the, the fact that it really feels good to do all these actions, that's really important aspect. So we really made sure that it's fun to, whether you're climbing around or running around, it just feels right to be doing these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So that's why it's really fun to do these things. So and to create that vision of feeling just right, we made sure that even the uh, the hooves hitting the ground is just right. So the animator and the sound uh, char in charge really work together to make sure that it matches. 
And you can, as you can see, it actually makes the sound um, when the the foot, when the heel hits the ground. Um, so if if the um, the sound doesn't match the movement of the horse, then that means um, the motion is kind of off. <laughs> and these are the little details that we really put our thought into while developing this game. Well, one other detail that is overarching that I love is that it, because this is the weather system, the day and night oh. cycle is constantly going on its own. Th this scene will look totally different for whoever plays it, because they'll arrive at a different time of day. It might be raining, it might not, it might be a thunderstorm. Every player is going to experience this in a totally different way. and then try to take that same screenshot, but it's almost impossible to recreate it. Because the lighting's totally different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, I had to get completely <laughs> destroyed while Mr. Anu was telling you. You're burning. Anecdote. You have to burn a lot of things, and you have to burn a lot of things, and you have to burn a lot As you saw, the grass was burning, and the fire can just really go anywhere. It can burn on you, and it'll go out once the rain comes, too. So it's really natural. <laughs> it's actually kind of hard when it rains. Um, you can't climb the mountain. There's a lot of hard elements. Well, oh, and the thunder, too. Yeah. Oh, thunder. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta change your clothes from metallic items to wooden ones to refrain from, you know, getting yeah. struck by lightning. Yeah, you got you got to totally strip out. <laughs> and you know, it's it doesn't matter if it's uh, if you're if it's you or the enemy. This the lightning will just strike anywhere. So speaking of dangerous elements, clearly guardians are roaming around. They are really really nasty. Um, I was just trying to get to that tower there, but that thing is between me and it. And I don't even know if I want to risk my horse. <laughs> ガーディアンが見えてきます。はい。危険な敵の。いや、ちょっと、あの、馬が、馬を傷つけたくないので、どうしても。You can actually go straight to uh, Hyrule Castle when you first begin the game. And then this happens to you over and over again. <laughs> I like that, they, that you have that freedom, though. I mean, I think it's good to go and get in trouble and then say, you know what, I'm. I'm not going to go that direction right now. I might come back a little bit later when I have some better stuff. <laughs> この時怖かったらずっと遠くを回っていけばいいし、それにまたあのパワーをつけ、ビリつけたらやっつけることもできるようになるので。
もういろんなやり方をしながら最後のそのボスに向かっていってほしいと思いますね。So in the past titles, like you could, if, if there was something that you shouldn't be going past, then you couldn't go past it. But with this game, you can go around and it might take a long time, but you can go around and then try to avoid it and then come back to it <laughs> later if you want. Plan. Well, I'm not going to embarrass myself any further by dying continually in front of two of my heroes. So、um, we're going to move on to、uh, our next segment. We are going to actually finish up with a, a close look at One Two Switch, which is. Not to be missed.、Um, but before then, we've got something else for you.、Um, I will tell you all about it on the other side of the break.